Okay, so let's have a look at uh, some trig graphs. So this one here, the, the graph below shows y equals a cos bx plus c, and we need to find the value of a, b, and c. First thing you notice, if, uh, if it doesn't tell us what we, we need to be doing here, then we need to be working in radians. Um, so it's important to do that first off. Uh, we look at here, and we look at the period of this graph here. Well, the period, the repeating unit, is 3. Um, so if I can write basically that the period, period is equal to 3. Um, and I can also use the formula which gives me that the period equals 2 pi over b, when b is the number in front of the x. So therefore, the period 2 pi over b is equal to 3. And therefore, if I rearrange that, b is going to be equal to 2 pi over 3. Okay, so I've got the first bit, I've got the period correct. Um, the next thing to look at is this bit here, the a is for the amplitude. I need to find where the center of the graph is, well, it's going between minus 1 and 5. So that's a total distance of uh, 6. So then, therefore, half of that is going to be from this dotted line upwards. So there we go. The, the amplitude is the bit from the center to the top, and the amplitude, therefore, is, is 3. So therefore, A is equal to 3. And then lastly, the, the C bit, well, if I imagine what would happen if I just had uh, the graph of y equals 3, for example, 3 cos x, well, that would go between uh, minus 3 and 3. Uh, well, you can see here that this graph is actually going up to, to 5. Therefore, in effect, it's been shifted up by 2. Okay, so therefore, C must be equal to Okay, next question. Diagram shows a curve with the equation y equals 1 plus k sine x uh, between 0 and 3 pi. So once again, we're in radians. Uh, we've been given a point on the line, and we need to sh first off show that k is equal to minus 6. Well, if we know that a is this point here, then therefore we know the x and the y coordinate. So we can actually put put that into our formula. So if we've got y equals 1 plus k sine x, and therefore that is going to be minus 2 equals 1 plus k sine of pi over 6. Okay, and sine of pi over 6 is one of the uh, trig values that you should know, and um, that's going to give me a half. So if I rearrange this, it's going to end up giving me minus 3 equals k times a half, and therefore minus 6 is equal to k. Okay, so that's the first bit. And, and now I need to find the values of a and b. So let's just rewrite that as what I've got. So now I've got y is equal to 1 minus 6 sine x. And I want to find uh, the, this basically the coordinates of this point here. Um, there's a couple of ways to do it. Um, one way to do it would be to differentiate the function. That's probably as easy a way to do it as any. Um, the alternative method is to say, well, uh, the maximum point here, well, how do I get this maximum point? Well, I'm going to get this maximum point when sine x is equal to negative 1. Okay, because when sine x is equal to negative 1, this is going to give me 1 minus minus 6, which is going to be 7, and that's the maximum that this graph can be. So if I write that, so when 
sine x is equal to negative 1, I get a y value equal to 7. And this is the maximum that the graph can be. So therefore, this must be this point here. Okay, and then if I, if I work out inverse sine, sine minus 1 of that, I'm going to get 3 pi over 2. So there we go. Um, when x is 3 pi over 2, y is equal to 7. Okay, so last question to look at. I want to sketch the curve uh, f of x equals sine 2x, and it's only between 0 and pi. So there's my axis there. Um, sine starts from the 0, so it's going to go up and down like that. And we're not stretching at all, so it still goes between 1 and minus 1. And the only difference is that it, the period is now pi rather than 2 pi because we've we kind of squashed it up twice as much. Um, so that's going to be pi there. This is going to be pi over 2. This is going to be pi over 4. And this is going to be 3 quarters pi. Okay, so there we go. These are the points on the graph like that. Okay, um, that's the first bit. It then says, hence sketched on a separate diagram, a g of x equals cosec 2x. Well, I need to remember that cosec 2x is the same as 1 over sine 2x. Okay, so cosec 2x is the same as 1 over sine 2, sine 2x. So what it's actually asking me to do is to draw, um, yes, so basically 1 over this graph here. Um, again, so to, to, the way to think about this is to first look at the points where it's a 0. So wherever it's a 0 in this graph, or when I do 1 over that graph, I'm going to end up with an asymptote. So there's going to be an asymptote actually on the y-axis here. There's also going to be an asymptote at pi over 2. And there's also going to be an asymptote at pi here. So like I said, these are the points where I'm dividing by 0. Therefore, I'm not going to get a value. And then to basically think what's happening for the rest of this graph here. Um, when I have a very, very small number here, um, I'm going to be dividing by a very, very small number. But uh, And so think of what happens. Basically, if you divide by a number that's very close to zero, uh, what you end up with is a very large number. Um, and equally, the smallest possible value for, for 1 over sine 2x is going to be this maximum point here because we're dividing by the biggest possible number we can get. So we end up basically with that kind of shape there, and equally we kind of end up with that shape there because again we're dividing by a number that's very very close to, to negative, to, well to zero from the negative end, that's going to give us a very very big negative number um, when we divide, we do one divided by that number, and so we, we get this kind of shape here. Okay, and then all that's left to do is then therefore mark this point here, which is pi over 4, and if you mark this point here, which is 3 pi over 4. And then the very last thing to look at is, well, um, at this particular point here, when uh, the y value is 1, well, 1 over that y value is still going to give me 1. And that is still going to give me negative 1 there. So this coordinate here is going to be pi over 4, 1. And this coordinate here is 3 pi over 4, minus 1.